Hello, I'm Chase Matthew. You probably know me as the editor for All Star Smashers. I'm here to announce that yes, I am starting a new lull. I've made attempts in the past, as you may have seen with my Tim Rowan move set a few years ago, but now that the problems that plagued that project are all sorted out, and I've become significantly better at animating and editing, I feel that this will be the one that I can actually go through with. So today I'll be revealing the characters in my starting roster in the order that I intend to make them. There will be seven characters. Some stuff to address first. One, this will not be a reboot of my previous little attempt. With Wilkins being an El Neo, Tim being endemic, and Gabe's death in 2016, I feel now that the roster just isn't for me. Two, All-Star Smashers is still my primary focus. There's a lot of stuff to do there, and more people are invested in that series, so consider this kind of a side project. Without further ado, let's get started revealing the roster. I'm a motherfucking genius! I am a really big fan of San Andreas, and I thought it would be a lot of fun to make a moveset for my favorite character. He's a lot less prominent in the game than Big Smoke is, but I felt a moveset for him came more naturally, especially since Ryder has been getting a lot more attention lately, thanks to YouTubers like Kenny Pass and Los Santos Cast. He's a very memorable character despite his lack of screen time. Queen Juliana is a fat banana. I'm giving you all the Michael Rosen rap. Odd choice? Maybe. But Harry Bow is a far more complex person than he appears, and he has far more material than what it seems like. There's only five or so stories with Harry Bow that Rosen has narrated on his YouTube channel, but in his books Harry Bow is a far more prominent figure. That tagline was actually from a story in Wait Till I'm Older Than You, where Michael and Harry Bow get caught stealing toy cars. Michael has described him as someone who has failed by the system due to his unconventional skill set and talents, and in my opinion, that makes him perfect for lol. If you're on the LOL Discord server, you may have read a move set for Harry Bow I wrote a long time ago, but since then I've been learning about the stories about him that never made it to video format, so rest assured, it will only be getting better. I was a really big fan of Poppy the Performer for a while. My fixation on it has dwindled since because the show's been over for a long time and there's not really a lot of episodes, but I still like it a lot and I had written a full moveset for Poppy at the peak of my interest. It's a wild show with a lot of potential and I'm happy to represent it in my lol. Steel is heavier than feathers. There's a pretty good chance you know Lemmy even if you've never watched Lemmy's show. Two of his sketches became very popular on social media, and he's been very prolific on Twitter and Vine. I think he's very funny. Nothing else to say about that. Isn't there a point in everyone's life where they need to go figure out who they are? I like Matt Groening's work a lot. I watched Simpsons and Futurama obsessively when I was a kid, and despite all the 30-minute video essays providing an opposite opinion, I thought Disenchantment's first season was really good. It's a very action-packed show, and with all the unique items and magic stuff, there's a lot of things to be utilized for a moveset. And now that there's a second season coming in September, there's only going to be more opportunities for stuff to include. I think this will probably be the hardest character to do sprites for. Did you know that Netflix doesn't let you screenshot anything that's on it? It just comes out as a black screen, no idea how they did that. I'll figure something out, though. Oh, hello there. Sorry, I didn't quite see you come in. Maybe a bit of an immature choice. But I was a big fan of Stampy Cat when I was a kid, and when I was reflecting on the videos, it came to me that he would make for a good moveset. Think about it. A. He has a very consistent routine for every video, and there are a lot of big events that everybody remembers. So what should be utilized in a moveset is easy. B. He did like 600 episodes of that shit. There's a vast amount of potential. Those two things in addition to the fact that I could simply download a Stampy skin for sprites, and that there's recreations of his world available for download, will make his moveset a breeze to create. At least I think so. We call him Blue Seal. Yeah. 
I really like Wakali Wood, and I really like who killed Captain Alex. Bruce Yu, despite the fact that his name isn't in the title, is a far more prominent character than Captain Alex himself, so I figured he would be the better character to represent the movie. I could go with Richard, but he's more of a commander than the kind of guy who does the fighting himself. And true to who killed Captain Alex, VJ Emmy will be talking more or less the entire time. So those are the characters I have planned for my new law. As to what this will be titled, uh, I'm not sure yet. I'll think of something in the future before I start, obviously, because I can't have a law without a title. So yeah, that's about it. I'm excited to be making the first moveset, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. I will never change.